Edward es un hombre brillante. No es solo nuestro jefe, es nuestro amigo. Ha perdido a su hija y ahora le da igual perder todo lo demás. Tal vez sea lo más raro que he visto en mi vida. Escribe cartas. ¿A quién? Hogwarts no escribe a personas, escribe a cosas. Al tiempo, al amor, a la muerte. Los niños le escriben a Papá Noel y no por eso están locos. No, es una especie de terapia. First, I'd like to know uh, what has brought you the Christmas setting in the movie, because it has a touch of a Christmas carol with these three kind of ghosts in yeah. the movie. Yeah, I think, you know, that was always a part of the storytelling, was that this happened at Christmas and that, you know, the last scene built up to Christmas Eve. And I think that's because these themes, this idea of sort of confronting the, these abstract ideas of love, time, and death, and, and uh, learning how to reconnect are the same ideas that we all wrestle with at this time of year. You know, we all um, assess our lives at, at the end of each year, and we want to reconnect with our families, and that seems to be a part of Christmas. Communication struggles uh, is a real issue in your cinema. So I'd like to know which were your concerns in Collateral Beauty about it. Um, you know, I think the, the, uh, the challenge of reconnecting with people that you love, you know, where the relationships have gotten frayed is, is, um, is really hard. You know, it's, uh, if you take the character that Edward Norton plays, he's gotten divorced and his daughter doesn't want to talk to him. And, and he's, almost ready to let her go and, and um, needs to be reminded to kind of reach out and just be there for her as a dad. And, uh, th you know, the theme of parenting is, is one strong aspect of the movie. Each of the characters is, is a parent or wants to be a parent. And, and, uh, um, and, you know, as a dad myself, I feel really fascinated by how to do this job that none of us are trained to do and how, how hard it is. What have you learned about these three concepts? Well, you know, I'm always reminded uh, as, you know, uh, uh, how fleeting time is, you know, how impermanent our lives are, how fragile the connections we all have. And, you know, I think that's the most powerful theme of the movie is, is um, uh, the importance of reconnecting with the people you love. And how was it working with so different actors? I mean, going from a scene with Michael Peña and Helen Mirren to Kate Winslet and Jacob Latimore? You know, just working with all these amazing actors was, was actually really easy. You know, they're so, they all prepared so well. They all uh, were, you know, competitive in the best way, which is that nobody wanted to be the weak link. And uh, they, um, they also really enjoyed The, the process and and uh, they all had different styles and I think yeah like the, the putting Michael Pena together in scenes with Helen Mirren was so startling and yet they they fell in love you know they really enjoyed each other's work and company and who surprised you the the most I, you know I, I I think we were consistently most surprised by the way uh, Helen f found a way to make uh, death seem compassionate and funny Está oculta la belleza colateral. Es la profunda conexión con todo. Y si lo acepta, a lo mejor puede volver a vivir. ¿Has venido a por mí? No, Howard, he venido a coger la línea F contigo.